What's going on, moviegoers? If you're new to the channel, my name is Christian, and welcome to SeaWorld Productions. You guys, we have some interesting set photos that were released online for Avengers Endgame. Now, these set photos are on Vormir. And that's not Black Widow, it's not Hawkeye, it's not Gamora, and it's not Thanos. It's Carol Danvers, Captain Marvel. Now, I'm guessing these set photos, right, they had early drafts of the script and they were filming it, obviously, and they just didn't like what they saw. So this could be a potentially, uh, maybe a deleted scene, right? But then you have to think about it because when they're all going after the stones, right? And they're all going back in time. That five-year period, Brie Larson's Captain Marvel has short hair. But in these set photos, she has her original costume on and she has long hair. And it looks like she's fighting somebody on Vormir. And it looks like she's alone. Now, I don't know what they had in mind when they were filming these scenes for Brie, for Brie Larson's Captain Marvel to be on Vormir. But I can see why they took it out or they, why they switched some things up. Because, you know, let's say if she did go to, you know, if she did go to Vormir, right? And she needed the Soul Stone. Well, who could have traveled along with her? For them to capture that moment of somebody being sacrificed. She's not close with any of the Avengers. Nick Fury is dead. So I can see where it wouldn't really fit. Um, you have Thanos and Gamora. Obviously that was a huge impactful scene. He has to sacrifice the only person he loved. Which was his daughter. Hawkeye and Black Widow. Very impactful scene. They're best friends. They're like family to each other. Very, very impactful scene. So I can see why, you know, if these were, you know, filmed early in production and they, them, you know, switching it up and tweaking the script and things of that nature, it wouldn't make sense. Or who knows, maybe Captain Marvel was just on Vormir. What could she possibly be doing on Vormir and who is she fighting? Maybe, imagine she was fighting like the Red Skull. That would be a trip. That would be a trip. I still wanted to see the Red Skull return. You know, in Endgame and even in the future, I because I really enjoy Red Skull and I would love to have seen Cap run into Red Skull one more time. You know what I mean? Like that would have been so sick. But I found these set photos to be pretty interesting. I want, I really want to know the entirety, the backstory to these set photos. I really do. You know, like what if this is a deleted scene? You know, obviously. See, I don't know. Because it doesn't quite make sense. Cause like, with, like I said, with the whole time jump, the whole five years, you know, she had short hair. So this had to be way, way, way earlier, right? It had to be legit, like maybe within that first snap of when she finds Tony and Nebula in space. And then Nebula must tell them about Vormir or something like that. Who knows? Like, I don't know. Like, I, I really want to know the whole gist behind this. It's pretty, it's pretty interesting to me, but you know, Captain Marvel, she showed a big time in Endgame. Destroying Thanos' ship. Um, I, I love the little moment between her and Thanos um, when she was she had, like was grabbing his gauntlet right, and he headbutted her, and that just didn't do nothing. But then he took out the power stone, and then fucking Ganondorf punched her. That was insane. Um, but I'm 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 in I'm intrigued to see what more of Carol Danvers does she have to offer in the MCU. Like I said, I'm not really sold on her movie. I wasn't sold whatsoever. Um, rumor has it that she has a potential love interest from the same sex in this film. Not from this film, from this universe. Valkyrie. So I'm curious to see if Marvel dabbles into that. I wouldn't doubt it. Valkyrie is now the king of Asgard. She has a very high position. And if Captain Marvel stays her punk ass on Earth instead of always going places, I can see them dabble into something like that. And we all know that Valkyrie, you know, I, I, I suspect that Valkyrie was lesbian and, you know, Thor Ragnarok. Because the whole, you know, her her, her living, l losing somebody she loved, um, one of her uh, her partners. So it, it makes sense. And, and I, now, in all honesty, I wouldn't mind it. I, I don't give a fuck. I don't, you know. Who cares? It's 2019. Let's move forward. Let's progress. Representation is very important. Um, but it's pretty interesting to me, you guys. But post your comments down below. Let me know what you guys think about these set photos of Captain Marvel on Vormir. And what do you think is happening? Post your comments down below, you guys. And thank you for taking time out of here for watching CO Productions. Peace.